You think sloths are cute now? Well, wait till you see what they looked like five million years ago. Not gonna lie, it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> Hey guys, Tara here for DNews, and believe it or not, the cute, furry little sloths you see today are not the ones that existed millions of years ago. Back then, they were enormous creatures that walked on hind legs and were nowhere near as cute as their modern descendants. Sloths actually belong to the same family of creatures as armadillos and anteaters, and they're all part of the superorder Xenarthra, which originated in South America almost 60 million years ago. Obviously, sloths today look nothing like armadillos or anteaters, but back then they all shared common features. They had some of the lowest metabolisms of any mammals, and all of them had extra joints in their lower spine to aid in digging, which is primarily how anteaters and armadillos find food. Eventually, when North and South America fused together around 3 million years ago, many of the ground sloths that were once exclusive to South America migrated upwards, populating the entire Western Hemisphere where they continued to thrive for millions of years. Now, if you're wondering how an extremely slow, tree-dwelling animal managed to survive an era that killed off creatures way bigger and stronger than them, it's because sloths back then were nothing like the sloths we know today. They all lived on the ground, and some even evolved into aquatic mammals. The Megatherium, for example, which populated South America around 500,000 years ago, was a gigantic creature the size of an elephant. It weighed several tons and lived a full and active life on the ground, roaming alongside giant armadillos the size of rhinos. Now that is scary. Eventually, Megatheriums evolved into what we now know as the three-toed sloth. But two-toed sloths evolved from a different genus called Megalonic which consisted of a slightly smaller but still pretty enormous species of ground-dwelling sloths. Two-toed and three-toed sloths are actually a great example of convergent evolution. Both species likely shared a common ancestor around 35 to 40 million years ago, after which point they separated and evolved separately, developing many of the same characteristics. They became smaller, and their size, along with their strong arms and hooked claws, is likely what turned them into tree-dwelling creatures, although no one knows exactly when that happened because there are no existing fossil records of sloths that lived in trees. So how did they evolve to hang upside down? Well, it probably has to do with that low metabolism I was talking about. Running along the top of a tree branch requires balance and thus energy. So by hanging underneath a branch, which is easy for a creature with the arm strength of a sloth, it allows them to conserve energy. It also looks really cute, which is perhaps the most important thing of all. What about y'all? Are you as surprised as I am at how these little guys used to look? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, it's Sloth Week all week long, so if you want even more videos to fawn over, you can check them out over on the Animalist YouTube channel or just head over to slothweek.com. And we will put a link in the description below as well, just in case. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. And for more D news, just subscribe here.